हेलो स्टूडेंट्स साइरा लेट इस कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर नाइन रैशनल नंबर्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट ऑपरेशन ऑन रैशनल नंबर्स इन दैट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड एडिशन ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स एंड देन एडिटिव इनवर्स एंड देन एक्सरसाइज नाइन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फ्रॉम वन टू सेवन वी विल डू एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद दिस Let us complete exercise nine point one. Last question, question number ten. We will do first. Let us complete that. So now, exercise nine point one. Question number ten. Write the following rational numbers in ascending order. And these are the numbers given: minus three upon five, minus two upon five, and minus one upon five. Here you can see all the numbers they have same. Denominator and there is minus sign in all. So we have learned last time if when minus sign is there, how to how to solve it, how to find out which one, how to compare them, and how to find out which one is greater. So let us see how to solve it. First, minus three upon five, minus two upon five, minus one upon five, as it is given in the question, will write. Now you can see all the numbers are negative. so we will ignore the signs this we have learned last time so we will ignore the sign ignoring the sign we will just write down the number so the number is 3 upon 5 2 upon 5 and 1 upon 5 and you can see here all the denominators are same so next since the denominator is same so number with greater numerator is greater so that means 3 upon 5 is greater than 2 upon 5 and 2 upon 5 is greater than 1 upon Five. Now, as minus sign is there, so we are going to multiply minus one to all the three. So three upon five multiply by minus one. Two upon five will be multiplied by minus one. One upon five also will be multiplied by minus one. So what will happen when we multiply by minus one? This all will get minus sign. And when it will get minus sign, you can see the sign also has changed. So the order will reverse. So now here you can see here this number has become the smallest one. So now we will arrange this in ascending order. First we'll write minus three upon five, then minus two upon five, and then minus one upon five. So this one has become the greatest number out of this three. Now next question, question number three: minus three upon seven, minus three upon two, and minus three upon four. So let us see how to do this. Minus three upon seven, minus three upon two, minus three upon four. Here you can see first all the numbers they have negative sign. So since all the numbers are negative, so we are going to ignore the sign. We will write down the numbers: three upon seven, three upon two, and three upon four. Now here you can see all the numbers, rational numbers have same numerator. Since all the numbers have same numerator. so we have learned this before number with smaller denominator is greater so the smaller denominator will become the greater number now here this is an example by this also you will understand this is 10 upon 2 10 upon 5 10 upon 10 you can see here all the three rational numbers have same numerator now when you solve this when you reduce this 10 upon 2 you will get 5 when you reduce 10 upon 5 You will get two, and when you reduce ten upon ten, you will get one. So which one is greater? Five. So here five we got from ten upon two. So you can see the denominator is smaller than this also and this also. So then this one becomes the greater number, greater rational number. So same case here also. Three upon two has the smallest denominator, so this will become greater than this, and then this will become greater than this. So let us see how to write this. So it's written like this. So three upon two is greater than three upon four, and which is greater than three upon seven. Now, as in the question, minus sign is there, so we are going to multiply minus one to all. So three upon two into minus one, three upon four into minus one, three upon seven into minus one. So you will see all the numbers they have got negative sign. But when they get negative sign, what will happen? The sign will change. You can see here. It has changed, so the order has changed. It has reversed. So now we will arrange this in ascending order. So first this we will write, then this is the second number, and this is the third number. 
that means this is the smallest one and this is the greatest one. so this way you are going to arrange you will compare and then you are going to arrange the rational numbers in ascending or descending number according to according to the question if if in the question descending order is given then you have to write from the greatest number to the smallest one and if in the question ascending order is given then from smallest to the greatest now next we are going to understand operation on rational numbers now children you have learned operation of addition subtraction multiplication division on integers as well as on fractions also so today we are going to understand operation on rational numbers of addition subtraction multiplication and division on this also so these are the these are the operations which you are going to learn first addition we will learn today and then subtraction then multiplication and then division so first let us understand addition of rational numbers let us add two rational numbers with same denominator now here you can see these are the two rational numbers which has same denominator 7 upon 3 and minus 5 upon 3 so we are going to add them so we find 7 upon 3 plus here minus sign is there so you have to put a bracket minus 5 upon 3 now how you are going to represent this on the number line let us see that first see when you draw a number line you are going to get this way so here you can see this is 0 and here 1 upon 3 2 upon 3 3 upon 3 4 upon 3 like this you can see here 0 to 1 is divided into 3 equal parts because here you can see in both the rational number 3 is given in the denominator so 0 to 1 will be divided into 3 equal parts 1 to 2 will be divided into 3 equal parts same way 2 to 3 also will be divided into 3 equal parts and then we will write down the number and the distance between two consecutive point is 1 upon 3 so here it is written 1 upon 3 2 upon 3 3 upon 3 you can see it is marked now where is 7 upon 3 7 upon 3 is here and then what you have to do you have to add minus 5 upon 3 to 7 upon 3 so here you can see minus sign is there that means we have to move towards the left side and as minus 5 is there that means we will take here 1 2 3 4 5 that means we have to make five jumps or five steps so we will move to the left making five jumps and then where we will reach we will reach here so we will reach this is the answer so when we add 7 upon 3 plus minus 5 upon 3 when we add this two rational numbers we will get 2 upon 3 because we will reach here at 2 upon 3 so now 7 upon 3 plus minus 5 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon 3 now let us try in this way 7 upon 3 plus minus 5 upon 3 so when you add this you can see here the denominator is same so we'll write 3 only in the denominator and 7 plus minus 5 and plus minus will write minus 7 minus 5 is 2 so here also we are getting the same answer you do in either in this way or this way you will get the same answer now how do we add rational numbers with different denominators now till now we have seen the examples with same denominators rational numbers with same denominators now how do we add rational numbers with different denominators as in the case of fraction we have learned we first find lcm of two denominators so here also we will do the same thing we are going to find out the lcm of two denominators with different numbers and then we find the equivalent rational numbers of the given rational numbers with this lcm as the denominator and then you have to make it equivalent you have to make it equivalent rational number with the same lcm as the how we got here as the denominator and then we are going to add the two rational numbers so these are the three steps we are going to follow while adding rational numbers with different denominators so let us take an example for example let us add minus 7 upon 5 and minus 2 upon 3 here you can see the denominators are different here it is 5 and here it is 3 so first step what we are going to do we are going to take lcm 
so lcm of 5 and 3 is 15 so we'll write 15 we have to get 15 in the denominator so we'll write the first rational number minus 7 upon 5 and to get 15 we have to multiply denominator and numerator by 3 so it, we will multiply and then we'll get minus 21 minus 7 into 3 is minus 21 upon 5 3 is a 15 same way this one also will take now next one minus 2 upon 3 now we have to get 15 here also so 3 will be multiplied by 5 here also it will be multiplied by 5 so minus 2 into 5 is minus 10 upon 15 now you can see both have same denominators here 15 here also 15 now what we will do next step minus 7 upon 5 plus minus 2 upon 3 can be written as minus 21 upon 15 plus minus 10 upon 15 so this way you will write and then you can see both the denominators are same so we'll write 15 and then this two we are going to add because both are negative and here there is a, an addition sign so we are going to add minus 21 plus minus 10 will be minus 31 so answer is minus 31 upon 50 so this is the way we are going to solve minus 31 upon 15 now next is additive inverse what will be minus 4 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7 is equal to so here you can see here when you work out this 7 7 is same so we'll write 7 in the denominator minus 4 plus 4 will become 0 so whenever you add any rational number with its additive inverse you will get always 0 so here 4 upon 7 the additive inverse of 4 upon 7 is minus 4 upon 7 and additive inverse of minus 4 upon 7 is 4 upon 7 so when you have added this to what you will get you will get 0 so let us start with the exercise 9.2 first question find the sum first question is 5 upon 4 plus minus 11 upon 4 you all will open your textbook and see the question and you will write all the question and the steps how I am showing you you will understand and then you will write down in your maths notebook so 5 upon 4 plus minus 11 upon 4 this is the question so here plus and here minus is there we can write here 5 upon 4 minus 11 upon 4 and then next step as denominator is same so 5 minus 11 upon 4 and then what we will do we can write minus sign outside and then here when you write minus sign outside here 5 will become minus 5 because minus minus will become positive 5 and here minus is there so here what we will write minus we have taken outside so here what we will write we will write plus because minus to plus is minus so here plus 11 we will write and we will put this in the bracket and now what you will do you can rearrange it this is positive 11 we will write positive 11 minus sign will keep as it is outside the bracket so we'll write 11 and this will take it here so 11 minus 5 and 11 minus 5 is 6 and this negative sign will give with this so it will become negative 6 upon 4 denominator is same in all the cases here so 4 and then you can see both the numbers are divisible by 2 so you can divide it by 2 directly also you can divide you will get minus 3 upon 2 so answer is minus 3 upon 2 now third question minus 9 upon 10 plus 22 upon 15 so here you can see denominators are not same so what we will do we will multiply this 10 into 15 if you want you can take LCM this way also we can do 10 into 15 afterwards you can reduce it so 10 into 15 is written and then we'll cross multiply like this minus 9 into 15 plus 22 into 10. Okay and then this will be multiplied here 15 into 9 is 135, 135 minus sign is there so we'll write minus and 22 into 10 is 220 and then here you can see one here this is negative this is positive. So what we can do we can rearrange it we can write in this way also we can write 220 first and this will be minus 135 so 220 minus 135 is 85 you can see here it is done here 85 and then 85 upon 150 both the numbers are divisible by 5 and then you will reduce it you will get 
सेवेंटीन अपॉन थर्टी सो वेन यू रिड्यूज दिस बाई फाइव यू विल गेट सेवेंटीन अपॉन थर्टी इफ यू टेक एल सी एम एंड डू इट देन ऑल्सो यूल गेट द सेम आंसर नो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फाइंड द सम द क्वेश्चन इज माइनस एट अपॉन नाइनटीन प्लस यर माइनस टू अपॉन फिफ्टी सेवन सो वॉट यू विल डू यू विल राइट इन दिस वे फर्स्ट माइनस एट हियर दिस इज द क्वेश्चन माइनस एट अपॉन नाइनटीन हियर प्लस इज दे हियर माइनस इज दे सो विल राइट माइनस टू अपॉन फिफ्टी सेवन एंड देन वॉट विल डू विल टेक माइनस साइन आउट साइड एंड देन दिस वी विल राइट एट अपॉन नाइनटीन दिस माइनस एंड माइनस हियर माइनस इज दे नो सो माइनस वी हैव टेकन आउट साइड सो हियर इन साइड वी विल राइट प्लस बिकॉज माइनस इन टू प्लस इज माइनस so as we have taken minus outside so inside we have to write plus and then here you can see 19 is there in the denominator here 57 and we have to first make it equivalent equalize the denominator and you know 19 3 is a 57 so we will equalize it 19 will be multiplied by 3 here also in numerator also will multiply it by 3 so we'll get 24 upon 57 and here Two upon fifty-seven is given. We'll write plus two upon fifty-seven. Now you can see they are equivalent. Their denominator is same. So what we'll do? We are going to add this to twenty-four plus two. Twenty-four plus two is here. It is written twenty-four plus two is twenty-six. And minus sign is there outside the bracket. So we'll write at the end minus twenty-six upon fifty-seven. Now next question, sixth one. Find the sum minus two upon three plus zero. So you know anything added to zero is the same number. So minus two upon three plus zero is equal to minus two upon three. Now question number seven. Minus two one upon three plus four three upon five. This question is given. Now what you will do? It is in mixed form. So we'll write first like this. Minus will take it outside. And we'll write two plus one upon three, and then here plus four plus this also we'll write in this way four plus three upon five, and then you know how to convert it into uh, here two into three. Last time we have learned two into three plus one. Same method we will follow upon upon here three, and then plus four into five plus three upon five. How we have converted mixed fraction into proper fraction? Same method here also we will follow, and then minus sign here. Three two is a six plus one upon three. Six plus one is seven. You can see a minus seven upon three. Now this side also will do in the same way. Four five is a twenty plus three upon five. So twenty plus three is twenty three upon five. So here this is minus seven upon three plus twenty three upon five. Both the denominators are different, so we'll take LCM of three into five is fifteen, or you can write three into five, and then minus seven will be multiplied by five, and then twenty three will be multiplied by three. So you can see here it is done here, and then when you work out this seven five is a thirty five minus thirty five, twenty three into three is sixty nine. This is minus and this is plus, so minus plus what you, you will rearrange it. You can rearrange in this way: sixty-nine minus thirty-five, and sixty-nine minus thirty-five is thirty-four upon fifty. Or directly also you can write the step. But you remember minus plus we have to subtract. You have to subtract this. If you rearrange it, you will be sure you will get the answer thirty-four. And if you do it directly also, you'll get this answer. Now, children, this is your homework for today. Exercise nine point one, question number ten, second part. Arrange this in ascending order. These are the rational numbers you have to arrange in ascending order, and these are the two questions you have to find out the sum of exercise nine point two. So this is all you will do it in your maths. That's all for today. Thank you.